Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to synthesize your circuit. Basically, if you don't know what the synthesize is, then let me tell you what I did. Synthesize is about to reduce the circuit logic, which is basically you might have done in your class in grad or undergrad level using KMAP or different algorithms. But if you think about it, it's only feasible up to certain level. If you, if you think about a large circuit when you design some processor or, or controller which include like millions of gates, you cannot do that synthesize with that large circuit using the KMAP or different paper method. So for that we usually pref use a software called Synopsys. There are lots of other but this is the one usually goes around. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So first this is my code for full adder circuit. It's a VSDL code, simple code, nothing, nothing special about it. So let's start with it. First, open your terminal and start Synopsys. The tool that we're gonna use is uh, Design Vision. So like, make sure that you have So here, so this is the, you can say GUI way, uh, graphical user interface for the design vision. So there are pretty much tools that we're gonna go through today. So first of all, what you have to do is set up the files, like which library that you're gonna use to synthesize your design. So basically this is the default thing, but if you have your custom library, type the name in here for these three points, or if you don't know what to use, then you have to like make sure the libraries that you have is which one. Uh, in my case, I have a library called class. So I'm gonna put it here, everywhere. And after doing it, that, click apply, okay? Once it is done, then we're gonna read our design. But if you have some external library, then you might have to add it from here. So go to the file and analyze. Analyze your library if it's a physical library that you have in some very log or VSDL format. I have here one with called gtechlib. There are uh, some custom gates. So this is the warning that in the library, so I cannot do anything with it, just so I have to to ignore them. Now we're gonna open our design. So going to analyze my code is VHDL. I have to make sure that it understands it like it understands the what's code in there. So I have to change this format to VHDL then add. So on my desktop. So VHDL and then click add. Oh my bad. Select and then okay. Make sure the work is selected here because this is the where your synthesis uh, process gonna be run so make sure you have the work library selected as a work and select on check on this one create a new library if it doesn't exist exist okay already exists and okay that's good okay then now next step is go to elaborate in here we had to change first library to work and here if you see here this is by directly come here adder behavioral this is the name of my entity in my design so here my entity is adder and the here behavioral so it come by itself i don't have to do anything and click ok as soon as i clicked ok you can see here something came up look like a gate and now i read i write the code in structural method so I have defined the code but if you don't if you write in the behavioral manner it doesn't matter it will show you the entire circuit so click select this gate thing and select the first term or the first icon create symbolic view if in some case you will say schematic that's also fine click on symbolic in uh, it initially shows you a block but if you double click on that you will see gate level schematic so this is what basically I have designed 
uh, this is what gonna be designed in chip so this, this is good like this you can see here gtech and gtech and gtech r3 this is all the gates from my library if you have some different gates then you might be having some different names okay so basically you can see here right now i'm using uh, four and two six gates but after synthesize we might we might or i can i cannot assure but we might be having less than this one so to do that go to design and click on design compile design okay uh, after doing that click okay so synthesis has been done and if you can see here the logo has been changed than the prior one okay now again click the, the symbolic view double right click double click and if you can see here my set schematic has been changed it's uh, very different from the one that I was I had before as you remember I have six gates before now I have one this is the AOI ending with R uh, R so and R inward so one two three and four gates so like it reduced my gates two gates and this is for from six to two you can say that reduced for like around 15 to 20 percent of the gates if you think about the larger circuit where they have like million of gates in one chip if you reduce 20 percent then you are saving the area and the power so this is how you perform the synthesis apart from that you can do some more simulation like uh, area simulation power consumption and everything let's start with the reporting cell number okay so here we're gonna check the number of cells that we have in a circuit so in this small circuit we can count binarily but in large circuit you can so as you've seen here cancel I click already okay go to design and do report cells just click OK. You don't have to change anything. If you want, then fine. If you don't change the uh, output to some file, then click on file. But I don't want. I don't just see them. What's in there? So I'm gonna click click OK, and I'll get the results. So here I can see it says I have four cells that I can see here. Uh, their name of the cells is given by the synthesis. And uh, this is a reference. Which are the guest gates in there? Uh, this is a look like inverter. This is the AOI two two, and this is the XOR so like you can see how many gates you have and the number of gates i guess as well here let's maximize the window and it's also gives us the area report as well at the same time but we are, we're gonna do it separately so close this window and again go to design then click report area again here you if you want to have if you want to have a file format then you can go ahead but uh, i'm gonna go click okay this is the area thing and uh, you can see here it's a very much pretty clear formation is given for individual everything so you can analyze the details are from here as well uh, and you can make a nice report using this thing and again go to design and their power click ok and this is the basically power that can be consumed using in your circuit so they are pretty much given everything if you want to analyze um, into more detail but I don't want to so this is it for today I hope you this much is gonna help you out and you learn more things see you in next video